my course is out. But first, check out this snazzy little trailer I made for it. Why is designing user interfaces such a difficult task for beginners? Clearly, you can recognize great design, but when it comes to creating it, that's another story. Hi, I'm Gary Simon and I've been a UI UX designer for the last two decades as well as a front-end developer and I've produced close to 100 courses and I'm back after two years with my best course yet, the UI Design Bootcamp with Scrimba. My goal in this course is to help you create beautiful web-based user interfaces from scratch but also refactor existing designs. Scrimba offers an amazing platform for mixing the world of front-end development and UI design. As long as you have basic knowledge of HTML and CSS, you will be able to follow along and eventually create great user interfaces. I've included dozens of interactive design challenges that's going to test you every step of the way. So it's all about muscle memory. And that's why I've also launched this bootcamp with exactly 100 lessons. There's also a community on Discord where you can share your results for the various challenges. By the end of this bootcamp, you're going to walk away with so much confidence when you either have to create user interfaces from scratch or refactor existing designs. So sign up now and let's get started. All right, so I have to admit that was very fun to create. Anyhow, you can click on the very top link here uh, in the description of YouTube to go to the Scrimba page and get access to the best price possible for the bootcamp. It's available now, like I said. And I wanted to show you and show everybody uh, one of the lessons just to give you a feel for the Scrimba editor and the platform as a whole and how the whole interactivity thing works. So I'm going to switch over here. And basically, this is one of the lessons. Uh, there's a bunch of chapters. This one is a full project refactoring chapter. So it's going to be handy for those of you who are interested in learning how to maybe take an existing design and improve it a lot better. So as you can see, this is pretty, you know, this is quite an ugly sort of design that we have here. But if I hit play, you're going to hear me talk. I'm going to hear, I'm going to let it play just for a little bit. And then I'll, I'll come back and <clears throat> explain what's happening. So your challenge is to improve the color and contrast here in what you see. And I know that sounds open-ended, but don't worry. I'm going to give you some very specific parameters. Um, first, I will tell you that my solution for this, which I will show you shortly, only involves changing two background colors, and that's it. So two. So of course, this goes on for a little bit longer, but eventually I ask you to pause and come up with the solution. So in this case, it was to change like a background color or, or anything. So when you click somewhere on the editor, it will automatically pause and the video, and it's not really a video, but you can now work and start modifying this uh, project in some way, shape or form. So we can see we have the CSS here and I'm asking you to change like the background color of, of some, some sort of property or whatever. Um, and so if I scroll up here, for instance, and we look at the current body background color, <clears throat> I'll take this down here and just copy it. And I'm going to say something like, just for the sake of this, I, I didn't really prepare this. I'm going to say black. So if we change it to black, we can automatically see it updates in real time. And so using what you've learned throughout the course, of course, hopefully you'll come up with something better than this, but this gives you a, a way to say, okay, all right, this is what I would do. Now, I wanna see what Gary actually did. So then what you would do is you hit play. CSS and properties. And you could see it takes your changes away and it's gonna show you what I would have done. Now, I don't wanna reveal it just in case those of you who are interested in taking the course, you know, I don't wanna give this away like what I would do. But ultimately we take this really ugly design throughout this entire chapter and make it just a thousand times better than what you currently see here. And so that's what's really cool about the Scrimba platform. And what's really cool as well, like in the, the trailer video I mentioned, you can take like a screenshot uh, of your project and then go on over to the Discord server. And so this is the Discord that we have uh, set up, this Discord channel uh, in the Scrimba community. And that will be linked as well. And anybody who's taken this, uh, you know, for instance, if you want to share like a screenshot, like I said, of your actual, you know, your progress, I would really like to see it personally. So I'm, I'm in here and I'll be able to see those. I, I can't guarantee I'm gonna critique every one of them, but I, yeah. 
I'm really looking forward to having you know a bunch of you join up. So click on the link here in the YouTube description to take advantage of it now. So I'll see you guys soon with yet another video here later on in the week. All right, see you later.